This video is brought to you by W Energy. Click the link in the video description or use my code OOMFIDOP, which is on screen right now, to get 10% off your purchase at W.GG. Good day, Charity Oomphies. Charity here from Charity Gaming. And um, today we're going to be playing a super old, well, not really super old, but like we're going to be playing this like retro game. Uh, it came out in 2008. So for some of y'all, that's retro. Uh, called Bud Redhead, and if I sound a bit weird, it's because I'm recording this like the second time, the first time I didn't realize my game stream wasn't selected, so yeah, I mean, you guys are welcome, and we're going to be playing it on, you know, like, semi-modern hardware, so my MacBook Air and uh, this uh, PlayStation 5 DualSense controller, so with, without further ado, let's, um, let's get stuck in, shall we? So... First, I'm gonna turn the sound back on because I turned it off for a bit right now, right? And um, I think that was the. Oh, fuck. Yeah, okay. So let me turn that back on. Good. So let's uh, just start a new game, shall we? And um, let's actually um, overwrite this one. Yes. And um, I'm gonna enter the player name. So just Kiwi, so, you know, I like to be called Kiwi, that's my nickname since I was a kid. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise I'm the only Kiwi in, on the planet, okay? I, I'm just kidding. If, you, if your name's Kiwi, comment down below, right? And um, so I usually skip this part, but like, let's just read through this story because, you know, why not, okay? So it was a nice and sunny afternoon, so Bud asked Rachel to go for a stroll in the park. Bud was hoping that he would finally gather enough courage to uh, tell Rachel that he loves her. Oh, that's so cute. He had just opened his mouth when a bright flash of light suddenly appeared among the nearby trees. Ah! Rachel screamed. Ah! Screamed Bud even louder. Everything happened very quickly. A strange green furred creature jumped from the light and grabbed Rachel, then ran back towards the light with her on its back. Bud leapt and caught the creature with one hand, but it was just too strong. It broke free and went through the light, which um, then immediately disappeared. But was confused and scared. In his hand, he had some kind of electronic circuit that he had torn off the creature's jacket. Suddenly, another bright light appeared at almost the same spot as the first one. This time, two great creatures stepped out of the light. One was tall and slim, while the other was short and um, rounded. Greetings, Zortling. I am Zork, said the tall one. And I am Kraz, finished the short one. Have you seen a green furred creature around here? I don't know what I'm talking So it, it kidnapped my friend Rachel just a minute ago. Oh no, not another one, Zark said in despair. Kras tried to explain. You see, we are agents of the Cosmic Federation, and we are in pursuit of Fayata. He has been abducting beings across this galaxy for quite some time now, and... Wait, Kras! Zark yelled and turned to Bud. What is this that you are holding in your hand? He asked. I don't know, just something I ripped off the creature's jacket, said Bud. Zark and Kras looked at one another in total disbelief. You have damaged this portable space-time teleport, said Kras. Fayata will not be able to get to his ship without it. He will be forced to use this world's stationary portals and therefore it will be easy to follow him. Stationary space-time portals? Bud was amazed. Here on Earth? Well, of course, Kras said nonchalantly. The Great Empire put them here long before the Federation was even dreamed of. I have located Fayata, Zark reported. His malfunctioning gear teleported him uh, eight, three, five, six years back in time. He is still on this planet, yada, 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 a lot of yapping. So they send, they basically send Bud right after Rachel. And uh, yeah, that's how he gets to a strange forest. So let's play um, the, you know, the first level of stage one. And we're doing this without cheats because, you know, why not? It's going to be extra hard, by the way, <laughs> this way. So what we're supposed to do is we need to get the minus 176 thing to like zero so that the exit portal opens and we need to find the exit portal and go through it. There's a password thing that's for like bonus levels or to jump to like a certain level, I guess. I haven't played this game in a hot minute, so yeah. Any other snails, beware the snails, they fucking bite. Bam, 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 bam,
I hate these fucking pigs, I swear to god. Ouch. And that squirrel's a little shit too. A few moments later. So we're not really gonna be getting the password in this one, because, you know, I make the rules. It's my channel. You don't like it. <laughs> don't go away. I'm just just kidding, but like yeah, I'm not gonna go grab the password in this one. So I'm just trying to get up to like that ledge thing. If you guys can see it there, right? 75 years later. There we go. So we just got an extra life. So this is apparently like what, uh, 8,000 years in the past, like 9,000 years in the past. I don't even know. Let's uh, save at this checkpoint. Ouch. We, uh, I think we have, we, we have the exit portal right there. So we just need enough coins now. I think we can get enough coins, like, just from these animals here. Ouch. I fucking hate these bees. I actually hate bees in real life too, so it checks out. I don't even know what that thing is. It's like an egg or something that just drops from above. Or like a rock. Or like <laughs> an egg that the rock laid. <laughs> Two thousand years later. And there's that. And it's auto-saving. So yeah, that's uh, part one of this uh, series. Uh, see you all in the next video. Looking at your daughter photo Telling myself I don't deserve you Guess I'll only ever just hurt you I know I ain't worthy of you